Hi guys, it's Miss Herbal. It is Wednesday, March 18th. I know it's not St. Patrick's Day anymore, but I have to wear green all week. You know that. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. Uh, today we're going to do things a little different. If you have your packet, you can read along with us. We're going to be reading from our Journeys book. Um, we're going to read that kite story today, and we have an assignment with it. Okay? So I also need you to dig out, if you have the packet, this uh, story elements page. If you don't have it, that's okay. I'm going to show you how you can do it on paper, too. Okay? So, in our story today, it is a fiction story. Um, after we read it, I want you to think of the characters in the story, like who the story was about. And you're going to write and draw who the characters were. The setting, where it happened. The problem, what was the big problem in the story. And the solution, how did it get fixed or solved. Okay? So we've done these before. After the story, this is going to be your assignment. If you don't have that page, that's okay because you just need a sheet of paper. You're going to fold it into four sections. Label your little man up here. That'll be for your characters. Your setting, where the story happened. Just put a little house so you can remember. Uh, the question mark is the problem. What was the problem? And then, of course, the solution. How did it get resolved or fixed? Okay? So you can do it that way. Also in our story, there is a vocabulary word. The vocabulary word is meadow. Now, close your eyes and think of the word meadow. What are you picturing for a meadow? Yeah, I picture like a big grassy area, real flat. You can run for a long time. There's no trees, um, no electrical poles or wires. It's a great place to have a kite because you can run and get that kite really high up there and you don't have to worry about your kite being tangled in the wires or in a tree. So that's a meadow. If you hear the word meadow in our story today, I want you to give me a thumbs up, okay? Let's get started. The Kite from Days with Frog and Toad by Arnold Lobel. And this is a chapter book and this is just one chapter of it in the real book if you want to ever look it up. Frog and Toad went out to fly a kite. They went to a large meadow where the wind was strong. Our kite will fly up and up, said Frog. It will fly all the way up to the top of the sky. Toad, said Frog, I will hold the ball string and you hold the kite and run. Toad ran across the meadow. He ran as fast as his little short legs could carry, carry him. The kite went up in the air, and then it fell to the ground with a bump. Toad heard laughter. Three robins were sitting on, on, in a bush. That kite will not fly, said the robins. You might, may as well just give up. Toad ran back to Frog. Frog, said Toad, this kite will not fly. I give up. Do you see those mean robins, what they did? They were saying unkind, mean words. And did you see Toad actually believed him? And he said the same words. Sometimes we do that, don't we? Yeah, that makes you feel bad. And then you kind of start thinking the same thing too. We must make a second try, said Frog. Wave the kite over your head and perhaps that will make it fly. Toad ran back across the meadow. He waved the kite over his head. And the kite went up in the air and then fell down with a thud. What a joke, said the robins. That kite will never fly. It will never get off the ground. Toad ran back to Frog. This kite is a joke, he said. It will never get off the ground. We will have to make a third try, said Frog. Wave the kite over your head and jump up and down, and perhaps that will make it fly. Did you notice that um, Frog is very, very um, supportive? He really wants Toad to do well. He keeps giving him different ideas. He doesn't give up. Toad kind of gives up easily, and he's really starting to kind of believe what those nasty robins are saying. But Frog, he says, no, we got to try something else. I like his spirit, don't you? Yeah. Toad ran across the meadow again, and he waved the kite over his head. He jumped up and down, and the kite went up in the air, but then crashed into the grass. That kite is junk, said the robins. Throw it away and go home. Toad ran back to Frog. This kite is junk, he said. I think we should throw it away and go home. 
Toad, said Frog, we need one more try. Wave the kite over your head, jump up and down, and shout, up, kite, up. Toad ran across the meadow. He waved the kite over his head, and he jumped up and down, and he shouted, up, kite, up. Do you think that's going to work? <gasps> the kite flew into the air. It climbed higher and higher. We did it, cried Toad. Yes, said Frog. If a running try did not work, uh, a running and waving try did not work, a running, waving, and jumping try did not work, I knew that a running, waving, jumping, and shouting try just had to work. See, isn't he very encouraging? I like this. Now, the robins flew out of the bush. There they are, right there, flying off. But they could not fly as high as the kite. Frog and Toad sat and watched their kite. It seemed to be flying way up to the top of the sky. The end. I like a happy ending, don't you? Yeah. So, what do you think we were supposed to learn from that story? I bet you there's a lesson. Do you know what it is? Yeah. Right. It's to never give up, right? Keep trying. Toad just kept giving up. He believed the words of those nasty um, robins, didn't he? Yeah. But, Toad, but Frog said, no, don't believe them. Keep trying. And that's a great lesson for you to learn, too. Keep trying. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Right? Good job. Now, don't forget, fill out your story elements page, whichever one you're going to do. And there's the story part song on video attached to my website, my YouTube account on the watch list. Um, it's called story part song. And it'll help you with uh, each of these areas. All right? Enjoy. All right, guys. Today I also wanted to talk to you a little bit about grammar. Grammar is like when we talk about nouns and verbs and adjectives. I was noticing that in our story of the kite today, there were tons, just on this one page, there were tons of um, verbs, right? Verbs are action words, what you do, okay? So listen to, just on this page, I want to show you the words that we had. We had running, that's something you can do, running, jumping, shouting, and waving, right? Lots of action words in just this little page. So, um, and our spelling words this week um, have ed and ing endings, and they are all verbs too. So I thought we should probably go over some, um, some activities with um, verbs, okay? So, if you remember, if you've been on my class before, we have an action verb song that I want to do, okay? So if you know it, you can stand up. Good. And if you don't want to, that's okay. I'm not going to stand up either. But it goes like this. Action verbs are fun to do. Now it's time to name a few. So clap your hands and join our rhyme. Say those verbs in record time. Wiggle, jiggle, turn around. Raise the roof and stop the ground. Snap your finger and wink your eye. Wave those action verbs goodbye. Okay, so that's our action verb song. We love it. Um, but I just wanted you to be aware that there are lots of verbs in our story. So what I want you to do is, um, if you don't have the paper that I'm about to show you in your packet, just go through the kite story and list all the verbs you can find. Action verbs, things that you can do, okay? So go through page by page and be a little word detective and find any kind of action word. Now, do they have to have ing? No, they just have to be words of something that you can do, like sit or stand or cry or smile, all those action words, okay? Now, if you do have this page, it looks like this. You, all you have to do is cut out all the words and you have to decide if it's something that you're presently doing, um, that you did in the past, or something that you will be doing, okay? So let's see, we have hunt, frowned, painted. Let's try them. All right, let's look at the word hunt. Hunt, I can hunt. Yeah, that's something that I can do in the future. How about painting? Painting, yeah, I'm doing it right now. I'm doing it painting right now. That means it's the um, present, what I'm doing right now. How about talked? Talked. Yeah, I did that yesterday or did it before. It already happened. 
So that's called the um, past, what happened in the past. How about, let's try one more. How about frown? Mm, frown, that's a sad face. Mm, frown. Frown is something that you can do in the future, okay? You can do it anytime. Frown, okay? I know, and frowning means that you're doing it right now. Does that make sense? So find this page, complete it, and remember, bring all this stuff back to school when we come back to school and we'll give you some credit for it, okay? And if you get time, email me or send me a picture or a video. I'd love to hear from you guys. All right, have fun. Good morning, guys. It's March 18th. I know it's not St. Patrick's Day. We've already gone over this. Uh, we did our reading lesson and now we're gonna have to do our letters and sounds, okay? So, just like always, um, we're gonna start with some rhyming words. I'm gonna give you two words, you come up with a third rhyming word. You ready? Mark, shark, good. Cry, dry, match, scratch, book, shook, chance, glance, pink, drink, more, shore, Lunch, bunch, good. All right, for the next part, I just need to know the beginning blend, okay? Two letters in the beginning. So let's see, the th words are um, slate, sly, slope. Good, sl, that S-L. Um, squint, squat, squish. Yeah, squ, yeah. Straw, stripe. Stray, stir, that R is at the end, S-T-R, weird one. Stock, stack, stay, st, good. Smell, smile, smack, sm, S-M. Uh, let's see, next part, what are we gonna do? The teacher is gonna say the word and you're gonna stretch it out. Okay, oh, well I get to stretch it out and you get to say the word. All right, let's try it. The word is um, b. A, B, E, baby, P, A, P, E, puppy, K, and, E, candy, uh, let's see, L, A, K, E, lucky, yeah, lucky St. Patrick's Day, uh, P, R, A, it, E, pretty, good, um, k r a b e crabby. Like I hope you're not crabby today. All right, the next part is roller coaster. Ready? The word is perk. P erk. Perk. Fork. F ork. Fork. Burn. B burn. Burn. Mark. M ark. Mark, dirt, d, dirt, dirt, part, p, art, part, shirt, sh, ert, shirt, curse, k, erse, curse, shark, sh, ark, shark, short, sh, ort, short, good. The next thing we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna say the word and then you are going to stretch it out. Okay, you ready? Uh, the word is baby. B, A, B, E, baby. The word is puppy. P, A, P, E, puppy. Candy, ready? K, and, E, candy. Soapy, S, O, E, soapy. Uh, let's see, sleepy. S-l-e-p-e, -e. sleepy. How about drippy? D-r-i-p-e, -e. drippy. All right, now we're gonna do some changing with the words, so get your hands ready. Let's see. Um, the word is soak, soak. Now change the k to a p. Soap, soap, good. All right, the word is stork. Change the k 
to a M, to a M, st, or I mean storm, M, storm. All right, the word is rat. Change the T to a sh, ra, sh, rash. Good. The word is pack. Instead of a k, say t, p, pat, t, pat. All right. Let's start over. Okay, ready? Um, this time we're going to take the ending of a word and change it. All right. So the word is soak. Soak. Instead of a k, say p. Soap. Good. The word is stork. Instead of the k, say m. Mm. Storm. Storm. Good. Say rat. Rat. Instead of a t, say sh. Rash. Rash. Good. The word is pack. Instead of a k, say t. Pat. Pat. Good. Say make. Instead of k, say d. Made. Made. Good. Seed. Instead of a d, say m. Mm. Seam. Good. Snack. Instead of k, say p. Sap. Sap. Good job. All right. This time we're going to take a word and we're going to add an ending, one of those suffixes that we've been learning to the end of the word. All right. Say smoke. Good. Now I add e. Smokey. Good. Smokey. Brave. Brave. Add est. Brave est. Good. Uh, grunt. Add ed. Grunted. Grunted. Good. Snap. Add e. Snappy. Good. Mean. Est. Meanest. Good. Uh, let's see. Say slush. And then add e. Slushy. Yum. I wish I had a slushy. All right. Say sleep. Add an e. Sleepy. Good. Say fast. Add an est. Fastest. Good job. All right. This time, hmm, we're going to take the word and we're going to take off the ending. Okay. Say sticky. <laughs> yeah. Say sticky. Now take off the e. Stick. Say needed. Take off the ed. Need. Say lucky. Take off the e. Luck. Say highest. Take off the est. High. Say thinnest. Take off the est. Thin. Icy. Take off the e. Ice. Speedy. Take off the e. Speed. Say prettiest, take off the est, pretty. Good job, yay! This time we'll do some, um, some different cheer. This time we'll do the um, Eskimo cheer, okay? You are brilliant, good. All right, we need to do some review. I know these are old sounds, but we want them to be automatic, okay? So if they're old for you, they should become very fast. Um, if they're new, if you watch this video several times, I bet you'll get faster and faster. All right? So we're going to take our sound cards. Ready? E, E, E makes the E sound. I, E, I. Uh, a, E, A. U, R, R. A, I, A. S, H, SH. I, R, R. C H ch W H W O E O E R R E A E O R OR Q U Q Y Y G G J J E F D D Good job. They should be automatic. All right, the next thing we're going to do is show you a word. Look at it, picture it, taking it away. What was the word? Good. L E A K. Leak. How would I turn leak into leaking? 
Yeah, just add the ing, right? Good job. How would I turn leak into leaked? My ceiling leaked during the storm. Yeah, just add an ed. Well, in the word leak, what was the second letter? Good. What was the third letter? Good. E-A, right? Good job. All right. Let's try this one. Easy one, huh? Yeah. Good. What did you picture? C-H-A-T. Chat. Good. Chat. Let's see. Try this one. Easy. I know. Ready? P A I N. Pain. Good. I know there's going to be lots of different kids on here. That's why I'm trying to have lots of different kinds of words. So if those were super easy for you, that's great. If you're just learning, that's okay. You'll get there. All right. Try this one. Good. C A P E. Cape. Good. And that E tells the A to say A. Cape. Without it, it would be cap, of course. All right, let's try another one. Hmm. Ooh. Here's a good one. All right, ready? C A M P. Yeah, camp. How would I turn camp into camping? Good, yeah, just add the I N G. How about camped? The Native Americans camped by the river. Yeah, it would be the E-D. C-A-M-P-E-D. Camped. Camped. And it sounds like that T sound, doesn't it? All right, let's try one more. I know I keep saying one more, but we'll do one more. Here's a good one. Good. F-E-A-S-T. Feast. Good. Uh, let's see. That feast has the E-A in the middle, doesn't it? Good. How would I turn feast into feasting? They were feasting for days and days during the first Thanksgiving. And they really were, three days. Yeah. F-E-A-S-T-I-N-G. Feasting. Good job. All right. Go on Spelling City and study your spelling words with the E-D and I-N-G ending. Keep at it. And we'll see you tomorrow.